uh, defensive end. That's what I've been working at. Um, kind of moved me around a little bit. Coach Knight and sees me in a couple different spots. So that's what we're finding out right now in camp and finding my strengths and uh, you know exploiting those. What are you asked to do with that? Um, asked to be an athlete, play fast, uh, play physical, and uh, make plays. Uh, Blaze, how, how does this first day of this fall camp feel differently compared to the other ones that you've had here in Nebraska? Yeah, so this day, um, Weather's been nice, which has been great for us, but as far as the team being locked in, uh, it's been on a really high standard, and I think that, especially us in the D-line room, we're playing really close attention to every single rep and treating them like their goal, because that's what it is. So um, that's been a key focus point for us in the D-line room, having our key and playing fast. So the energy, the effort, it's got to continue to go up every, each and every single day, and we got to continue to raise our standard. Mm -hmm. How has the way you guys changed over the past few months? Yeah, so I think a part of that comes from Kristen. A part of that comes from Corey, our strength coach, Coach, coach Campbell. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to be on the players, and it's going to be on the buy-in of the players. You know, Coach Campbell's not watching me eat at night. He's not watching, watching Nash eat at night. So holding ourselves to a high standard, making sure that we're eating the right things, eating healthy, and uh, they've been feeding us the right way, and then lifting and mobility has been a really key focus point for us as D-linemen. You know, we're big guys. we got to be able to move as well. So that's a, that's, a big, that's a big piece of it. Do you see a difference? I mean, you see these guys every day. Some of you don't notice changes. But yeah. You look around the room now, do you look different than what you've seen before? Yeah, it looks different for sure. I would say um, the thing that stands out is the mobility thing for me. You know, we've, we've always been a pretty strong, strong group uh, as far as, you know, how we've lifted. But I think we can move pretty, pretty darn well right now. So. If you stray from what you're supposed to be eating, where are you going to? <laughs> um, I'm a chicken wings guy, so I'm gonna get some buffalo sauce on there and you know eat up a little bit and treat myself. What's uh, what's good leadership look like? Because I know it's more than just being a rah rah guy. What uh -huh. does that look like to you, and is that something you really wanted to bring mm -hmm. this year? So I think everybody has their own personal play of leadership. I think. For my, me, myself, personally, I kind of find a middle balance. I, I try to be that rah-rah guy when it's needed, but at the end of the day, we just got to come to work every single day. And uh, leadership's not easy. You got to challenge yourself each and every day. You got to look at yourself in the mirror because you can't be, you know, I can't be telling some of these younger guys to do things a certain way, and then when I'm at home alone, not do that thing. Like, that's messed up, and that's not holding myself to a high standard. So finding that balance and doing everything the right way every single day uh, is going to lead those young guys onto the correct path. Talks about like the quote about the guys having a pen everywhere they go. Having a what? A pen, like taking notes, uh -huh. and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. You see different a difference even in, in this year with some of that stuff as far as just the attention and like meetings and things or no? Yeah, for sure. I mean, these coaches have been in a lot of places. They know a lot of things, and they're they're really intelligent people. So I think us as kids, you know, 22 to 18 year olds, you know, we got to write down everything they say. They've seen a lot more ball than us, so. Taking in what they say uh, will lead us to be better football players. They've seen the greats, so you know they've they've learned from how they operate, and so we gotta take that upon ourselves. How comfortable are you in the scheme right now, and, and how much work is there to do in the next month to get where you guys want to be? I'm really comfortable in the scheme. Uh, Coach Tony White, uh, Coach White's done a really good job of uh, teach, teaching us up. Um, we had great install sessions um, way back in the spring, and you know we've kind of built on that learning process, you know, us as guys throughout the summer. So I have a great understanding of it, and uh, we're getting the young guys you know, to learn it and master it and know every single technique. So that's been a fun process, but I feel really comfortable under the scheme right now. It's a fun scheme to work under. What are the, the priorities then in the next month? Next well, each and every day, you know, we're going we're gonna to learn more. We're going to have more calls go in. So. Um, the priority is to when you learn these new things to not forget the old things, you know what I mean? So uh, knowing every single job and uh, knowing what the guy next to you has, communicating with him so that nobody messes up, we're all on the same page. So that's really important for us. Yeah. Being better than you were yesterday, you don't got to overcomplicate it. Um, that's what it is. You got to look at yourself in the mirror and be ready to go every day. You can't have a bad day. Uh, it was two, two like 51, uh, but it was bad. It was a lot worse weight than what I have now, and I'm like uh, 265 now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess to answer that question, I would just say it's a very aggressive defense. Um, it's an attacking defense, and uh, that's all I got for you there. Yeah. yeah. How, does, how, does, uh, how do your coaches, particularly Coach White, who's running this thing, mm -hmm. how, do they, how, are they, how do they get their messages across like, yeah. about, about what you just said? So Coach White, he does a really good job of upholding us to a high standard. You know, he gets on us when he has to get on us, but then he'll also relate to us and talk to us on the side and treat us like humans. So he's, you know, he's a great figure to us. He's a guy we can look up to, but when it's time to work, it's time to work. And he upholds the coaches to a high standard. Coach Rule upholds all the coaches to a really high standard. So that trickling down, uh, you know, creates great understanding of the defense. He gets, he gets kind of loud. Guys, guys are yeah, I mean, here and there, yeah. He'll get on us a little bit when he needs to, as every coach should. This is college football. Yeah, so they're young, yeah, but they're mature. They're mature for what they are. Um, and I think us as leaders, we have to look at every single detail and make sure we're on the right path. We can't leave a box unchecked. We have to make sure that uh, we're doing the right things every day. And um, like I said earlier, I've been proud of how they've worked. I've been proud of how they watch film, and uh, I think they're going to be in a good place. Lace, you've got a couple of practices done now in the fall here. How do you feel about the defense and the team now compared to where you were at the, the end of spring? Yeah. So um, it's been a lot of fun. I didn't play all of spring ball, so it's fun to be out there with my guys, seeing you know seeing some of the guys that weren't out for spring ball, like T. Rob, and uh, some of the other guys were out there. It's, it's a lot of fun, and um, I've been proud of how, we, how the defense has practiced these past uh, couple days, put in some good work. Brings an elite mentality. Brings a dominant mentality, and that's it. Yeah. Anything else for plays? Okay.